Well, I mean, just for shits and giggles, let's do the flight school, you know, just to see how that goes. I mean, I mean it says it still says zero percent mastered, so fine, Microsoft, whatever you think. Welcome to Sedona. I'm Captain Jess Molina, and I'll be your instructor. This is your plane, a classic, the Cessna 152. All right, okay. as we've seen, when you want to look around you, it's easy to rotate the camera. But you can also move it freely in the cockpit to get a better view of anything you want to see. Even through a window to look outside. Cool. Oh, okay, so I can, like, eh. 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 That's cool. In front of you is the yoke. Turn it left or right to control the ailerons and bank the aircraft into turns. Rap. Look at the trailing edge of the wings while turning the yoke to see the effect on the ailerons. Now, the difference between the yoke and a steering wheel is you can pull or push on the yoke. This controls the elevator at the back of the aircraft to make it climb or descend. You can see how Ooh. it affects the elevator. Okay, so I'm, I'm moving the spoiler. Nice. I've got to say, you chose a great day to go flying. This is Red Rock territory. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, no, I think you're wrong. It's, it, everything's green. So I'm um, just, yeah, I've learned I can. Oh, right. Smooth movements. Smooth movements. Push gently on the yoke until the descent attitude line matches the horizon. Then maintain that attitude. I mean, As expected, with the nose you're going into a weird territory with how, you know, how emotionally well, I'm feeling, but sure. If you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. I don't know if we should be talking about need for speed or in the air. The RPM displayed on Attitude plus power equals performance. I mean, that sounds like one of those, like, motivational posters. You're not high enough. Duh. I mean, you want to get high after, after we land the plane, yeah, but... Lady, I'll never be high enough. Don't worry about that. You're not high enough. I can outsmoke you any day. You're not high enough. Uh, you don't have to shove it in my face, right? You're not high enough. <laughs> I know, right? You're not <laughs> You've left the training airspace. You need to go back. Keep working on it. You'll get better. <laughs> oh, that's what you get. That's what happens when you're not high enough. Damn it. We're currently at 5,500 feet in a cruise attitude. The aircraft's yeah. nose I don't like your fucking attitude, lady. Wow, great job. Great job. The way I, was taught. I guess I was high enough that time. Let's take a moment to talk about taxiing. That's right. Unlike driving a car, we turn by using our feet. Okay. Like ready? the Flintstones? With the throttle idle. Does a good job of like Watch teaching you what you need to know. At least like the very minimum. I was expecting it to be like at least twice as long. Or they would have you like look at every little instrument on the dash, being like, "This is for the fuel. This is for the whatever." Like they would. Like you, you'd have to learn like all of those before you even think about moving the ta uh, the plane. But no, they're like, nope, you're in the air. Fly this way. Turn, turn this way. Double bop. You're good. You're not high enough. You're not high enough. You're not high enough. Okay. That was good taxiing. Thank you. The next challenge will be to keep the aircraft under control while at full throttle for takeoff. Oh, so now we're going to crazy taxi. Got it. Taking off isn't hard. But there are a few key points to remember. First, don't we crash. Take off in and... Yeah. Yeah. Back on the yoke to take off. Yeah. And we're airborne. Yay. 65 kits. To flare means to raise the nose of the aircraft to slow your descent for a softer landing, but without ever leveling off or climbing. The main landing gear will touch down before the nose wheel does. Resist the temptation to pull back. Are you daring me? Now focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Nice. 
Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Remember though, always make soft corrections. You don't want to overcompensate. I mean, that, that's a fact of life. My first instructor used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. I mean, if that's the best part, then why fly? That's like saying like, hey, the best part of driving is not crashing. I mean, for me, the best part of flying is when you're in the air and you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And it's like, oh, now I got to land. All right. Bah. That was excellent. Thank you. Yay. Oh. Yeah, that's 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 for next time. That's I'm not doing that today. It's time. Your first solo flight. From the I'll be watching from the ground in radio contact if you need me. But something tells me you won't. Ah, uh, luck. Wait till I'm 65, I think it was. And then, yep. And then pull back. Yeah. Almost. Uh, whoa. That was bad. Oh. All right. Really ease on that throttle. There we go. Ooh, it, ooh, this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be, it's gonna be not, it's not gonna be my, my, my best landing, but, eh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard trying to handle, trying to maintain the speed and the altitude at the same time, and then like your RPMs, it's like, yeah, I can do one of those. <laughs> Idea. Yeah. On your way to becoming one hell of a pilot. <gasps> they swore. They swore in a, in a Microsoft Flight Simulator. I mean, I got. I mean, I still got a C, and I'm gonna become one hell of a pilot, apparently. Uh. 